At night one of WWE WrestleMania 40, The Rock pinned Cody Rhodes after an intense tag team match lasting over 40 minutes, leading to anticipation for Sunday's Bloodline Rules Universal Championship contest, where Reigns and The Rock provided a glimpse into the chaos by exploiting loopholes and securing victory over Rhodes and Rollins with a series of rule-bending maneuvers, including threats to the referee and strategic use of weapons ultimately leaving Rhodes dejected in the ring as the bloodline celebrated their triumph. But the question here is why? Why did Rhodes and Rollins lose to the bloodline? Firstly, to make it an even bigger night for the American nightmare, Cody Rhodes has emerged as one of the strongest fan favorites in WWE history, securing back-to-back -back Royal Rumble wins and displaying incredible determination, including a memorable encounter with The Rock. As he gears up to challenge Roman Reigns for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship at WrestleMania 40, his recent loss to the final boss has left fans uncertain about his prospects for victory tomorrow. Nonetheless, if he manages to dethrone Reigns tomorrow night, it would be a monumental moment in his career. Secondly, for a better main event at night too. You see, Following Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes' unsuccessful bids, the Night 2 main event of WWE WrestleMania 40 is transformed into a Bloodline Rules match for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. This shift from the originally anticipated traditional contest between Rhodes and Roman Reigns sets the stage for an evening ripe with potential surprises and huge returns, like The Rock's biggest rivals, John Cena and Steve Austin stepping into even the odds. With the adoption of Bloodline rules, the match promises heightened intrigue and unpredictability, offering fans a more dynamic and engaging showdown between the American Nightmare and the Tribal Chief. Additionally, this alteration injects fresh energy into the event, ensuring that the culmination of Night 2 delivers a thrilling spectacle for the WWE Universe. Furthermore, we must acknowledge The Rock's formidable influence, which became evident throughout the match. Following his intense altercation with Cody Rhodes at the WrestleMania 40 kickoff press event, it became clear that he was resolute in avoiding defeat. His subsequent maneuvers, such as causing injury to Rhodes on WWE Raw, cemented his authority over the main event's stipulations, ultimately culminating in the final boss's triumph. Lastly, to crown a new heavyweight champion. As WWE WrestleMania 40's second night approaches, Seth Rollins prepares to defend his World Heavyweight Championship against Drew McIntyre, his most formidable challenger yet. Despite Rollins' impressive tenure, many fans are rallying behind McIntyre for a potential title victory. With Rollins holding the championship for close to a year, concerns arise about maintaining his momentum while conceding the title. The kayfabe injury Rollins endured on night one only fuels speculation among fans that his title reign might come to an end on the second night, and I strongly believe McIntyre would be leaving WrestleMania as World Heavyweight Champion. There you have it, guys. Reasons why Rhodes and Rollins lost to the Bloodline at Mania 40. Be sure to subscribe and smash the bell icon so you don't miss out on more wrestling content.